we changed the fonts as well uh, to what you wanted on the live uh, server. Looks better. Yep, I think so. Yeah. Great. So we're done. We're done with my song too. That. Huh. You can easily nice. uh, set your name or change it or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Next, you have your a community. You should be able to have a photo like this. You could also zoom in, yeah. zoom out. Okay. Once you're satisfied with your photo, as you can see, it's set everywhere at the same time. Okay. And everyone gets bio. to see the new photo. So I'm still working on the profile of the, of the person that getting on board. Yes. What Cubix is doing is Cubix has all of these different components. For example, this component is called in place editing. Yeah, so this is what the blue is using. Exactly. So now it gives you a feeling of so that can be easily yeah, integrated. You can have nice little PDF download icons. Um, when you click on that, it opens up a nice PDF document. You can read through the curriculum. It'll keep the website fast. It'll keep some data off the website server. You know, it'll just balance it all out. And Mouse Zone 3, right? Yeah. And Mouse Zone 3 takes us to launch. Takes yeah. us to beta test. Open it on Apple. Follow this. Yeah, that's it. Done. To launch in the store once you get a Douglas number and you get accepted into the Apple development program. Yep. And our app basically should be ready in the next two weeks, right? So then you guys add our email as one of your developers and you take care of all the technical. So maybe what we can do is we can narrow down some pages. I mean, I could create like 50 pages. That's that's not an issue. But while I was going through your menu, you guys have a lot of pages when you can have like one page for a lot of stuff and then another big page for another, you know, we need an admin web console where we can designate users as teachers. Admin for us supersedes the the community issue, like people not being able the privacy, people not being able to see. That was more of just getting rid of the dating aspect of it. A person could be a business contact, a dating contact, family, friends, and you can define new relationship types like students, teachers, etc. Yeah. Everyone, and now select only your business all contact. These pages, which, by the way, it does look very nice. Uh, all the stuff that you incorporated already. But when you are finished with these extra features. Right, you're going to do an accessibility check on your own first, right, to see where we stand. Am I correct? Of course. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So then we'll know from there what needs to be added or or expanded. Information and change information. The QR code changes as well. Right? Well, yes and no. Uh, the QR code is actually your user ID that is signed uh, cryptographically. Okay. So. That's all it is. It's Would you say that it's email address? Uh, it's not even the email address. It's your it's a very secure way for you to appear at the event, show your QR code to be scanned, mm -hmm. and then your code is scanned and you are checked into the event. Uh, by the way, we wanted to keep your logo simple and recognizable, okay, yeah. and unique. 